Good morning, folks. We've got core geophysics examinations coming up, but we've also got space news, seismicity, weather, and the sun. Let's get started at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on our star, showing the northern active region approaching center longitudes. Towards the end of this sequence, we'll see the next coronal hole incoming from the left. We've not taken much in the way of intensified solar wind streams. The plasma is relatively calm and in generally quiet range at the moment, but up in blue, that 180 degree flip that began last night has brought about a bit of geomagnetic instability, which ended quickly thereafter. There were a few larger rumbles than this one yesterday, but the most significant of the day was the 4.9 between LA and San Diego, much, much above average for the region. And by the way, that diamond is a quarry blast. Apparently they are still working somewhere. Folks, the latest winter storm who missed the spring train out of town dropped record snow and ice across a wide area. And also, it won't be for two weeks that we get the official global climate report for March, but Dr. Roy Spencer compiled all the data and showed us coming off the El Nino heat release last month back down to about half the global warming maximum thus far. Before some more in-depth science, let's get Hubble's pretty shot of the week, NGC 4651. Another spiral galaxy they say ate a smaller galaxy long ago, and I'd just like to ask all of you if any of their weekly shots of these spiral galaxies are starting to blend and run together and all starting to look the same. They are for me. Anyway, we're moving on to the cosmos, and the short version of the story here is that most have looked for WIMP dark matter particles. A few have held on to plasma cosmology. But as WIMP failure became obvious the last few years, that team would rather live in Fantasia than admit defeat. And so now they're looking primarily for axions, another made-up bit of nonsense. And on the heels of Chandra, cutting down axions at the knee in the Perseus galaxy a few weeks ago, we've now got Green Bank, leading another no-go for the ultra-tiny figment of physicists' imaginations. Up next, let's look at geomagnetic induction. A new paper out in Geophysical Research Letters is touching numerous key items, including land versus island geomagnetic induction during solar storms and mantle conductivity. It is important they finally separate that top layer conductivity and magnetism in their models of induction. Water, salt water, behaves somewhat differently than sand and dirt. Another of their releases this week includes the confirmation that volcanic forcing lacks appropriate treatment in climate models. They were able to demonstrate in tree rings what other past temperature proxies were unable to show, that the world comes and goes and breathes and dies with major volcano eruptions. Let's go ahead and now look at the key driver of global circulation models. The principal equatorial cells straddling the equatorial walker circulation, known as the Hadley cells, the key overturning force driven by hot air rising at the equator. The key responses here of the climate models are one of the biggest uncertainties and have one of the largest biases, and apparently that hasn't changed much in CMIP6, especially when you elect not to use the solar particle forcing datasets like this group did. And last but not least, in a confirmation of something we've examined for years and running counter to that Potsdam study yesterday on global warming and conflict, the past tells another story. Heat and CO2 make for plants and plenty of life. It's when the planet drops into cold that we've got a problem, both with Earth and with each other. We greatly appreciate your support. Folks, we've got our website podcast coming up later today. That's Fly on the Wall under the premium section. A lot of incredible discussion going to be on that one in a few hours. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. And of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.